claims, such as this one, that fluoride lowers IQ have been circulating online, often citing what have become known as the Harvard studies. These claims are incorrect. Here's the truth. In 2014, researchers affiliated with Harvard published an article suggesting that fluoride lowers IQ in children exposed to raised fluoride concentrations. The author's conclusions in the 2014 article were based on a review published in 2012, same author, of IQ studies done primarily in China. First of all, many of the studies they considered in their review are over 10 years old. More up-to-date, high-quality research has found absolutely no link between fluoridation and lowered IQ scores. Secondly, the authors of the 2012 review acknowledged themselves that each of the articles reviewed had deficiencies, in some cases rather serious ones, that limit the conclusions that can be drawn. Finally, in a newspaper interview, they explained that their findings are not applicable to the U.S. because the fluoride levels they studied were much higher than what is found in fluoridated water here. If the authors of the so-called Harvard studies are not applying their findings to the U.S., why are so many people talking about them? It's like a game of telephone. As the articles are discussed and shared across the internet, the limitations of these articles, and even the author's own words, get lost in the process. So the next time you read a frightening post about the so-called Harvard studies, remember this. The deeds of the Harvard School of Public Health, Harvard Medical School, and Harvard School of Dental Medicine all support water fluoridation as an effective and safe public health measure for people of all ages. The most common disease in children worldwide is dental cavities. I have witnessed with my own eyes children around the world suffering who do not have access to fluoridated water. As a dentist, public health researcher, and most importantly, a mom, I want to do everything I can to protect my daughter and all children against this disease. One of the ways we as parents can do this is to provide our children with one of public health's greatest achievements, fluoride in our water.